Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the venue at the Dirty Bull Tavern, aka The V, here in Woodland Hills, California. It is time for our fourth match, so without any further ado, allow me to introduce the number 10 seed, hailing from Hollywood, Florida, please welcome Gary Mawson. And now, Hailing all the way from San Bernardino, California, the number seven seed. Please welcome Chris Lim. Gentlemen, this will be the best of 13. Race to seven, all five of one. Gary Mawson, game on. Eighty-five. Sixteen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the CDC Tour Finals Championship Day One. We're already, already underway here with Gary Mawson and Chris Lim. And I am joined by a man who has already experienced victory today, the number nine seed, the man with the, the brilliant hair and beautiful voice, Mr. James Kinney. James, how are you doing? How are you feeling I'm after your win? I'm feeling pretty good right now, thank you. I bet, I bet. Have you been watching some of these matches? Oh, I've, I've been watching all the matches. How about that one we just experienced? I, that was, uh, 139. Very, it was you know, there was a couple of crucial mistakes, um, but uh, very good match none, nonetheless. All right, well, we've got uh, the great Gary Mawson of Hollywood, Florida, uh, at age 53, taking on the young gun, the man with the lineage, the 29-year-old from San Bernardino, California, Chris Lim. Lim has been uh, shooting some great darts so far, already down to 164. Mawson at 252 as we get you caught up on the match if you haven't been watching uh, already, thanks to our friends at Dart Connect, probably the best advent um, uh, to, the, to the darts game. Chris Lim, who's uh, 100. he got his start. He was better known in the uh, the soft tip uh, world, and has really started paving his own way after his dad. Obviously, we know Paul Lim, um, but uh, Chris is really starting to 94. make some waves here. Uh, we'll get into that in 64. just a moment as he's approaching a 64. Wow, he goes for the trip double two, and he misses. Oh. Wow, now, no. Sure. 10 to 15, five, not even, 5, 10 years ago, the traditional shot as Mawson goes for a trip 20 double top. Game shot, pulls it second out. guard, first leg. We'll see if that One error comes back to haunt Chris. Chris, uh, your start. There used to be, it was just a given. Um, you know, if you were down to 49, you'd go for 17 double uh, 16. Uh, now it's just become a matter of preference and what people 100. are comfortable with. And, and we saw it right there with Chris Lim, and we'll see if it comes back to bite him. Uh, in, in your experience, have, have you noticed that trend where people are just going with matter of preference? Well, I, th well, I think it's a little bit of that and a, a little bit 45. of um, how people are starting to watch other great players play the game when we, as uh, you know, the PTC and we're watching the PTC play darts. Uh, one of those things is like uh, with 80 with three darts, you see a lot of players now, even in the U.S., starting to go double 20, double 20. So yeah. it is definitely coming into a preference thing where, 
you know, you, you, you want to play the percentages, but if you think, you know, I'm hitting the trip 20 well, um, we, saw, we saw it with Rivera in the last match. He's on 142. He goes trip 20. He says, you know what? I feel good with that shot and hit it again with another trip 20 to leave double 11. Right. Generally, you don't shoot that shot, but right. the, the, you're, you're starting to see a lot of the uh, U.S. players learn 85. how to hit out shots based on comfort and, and what they think they can do in that moment, which is Absolutely. really important. Absolutely, and that's, I mean, at, at this point, it's anything to win, as Mawson is looking for our third ton of shot, comes away with a ton of 40. A huge round for him right there. Uh, we, now, we saw a battle of wills between John Part and uh, Jesse Rivera, and uh, it may very well come down to the same thing with Chris Lim and uh, Gary Mawson. When you take a look at Lim and his lineage and Mawson and his experience, 60. Uh, what what do you think has the advantage here? Well, I, I, I gotta believe I gotta believe it's it comes down to where, how the match goes. If if Mawson comes off hot and, and gets two or three legs ahead, he is so hard to come back against because he gets he gets into that groove and you give him a two or three leg cushion and he's going to be very very difficult to play against. However. Lim has been playing so well of la you know, the last five or six weeks. You know, just watching the different tournaments that he's played in, and he has been playing just absolutely well. So I, I got to believe that uh, if he just hangs in there, if it comes down to crunch time, he's going to hit those shots he needs to hit. 47. Well, we've got uh, the Mauler and Lightning, of course, Colin Cosell and James Kinney here in Woodland Hills, California. Uh, it's one of the uh, suburbs of Los Angeles. Uh, now, we're taking a look at uh, two guys, Chris Lim and Gary Mawson, who have never played against each other before. 35. So we have absolutely no history between the two. Uh, they have no experience with each other outside of just seeing each other shoot. Mawson now with a shot at trip 18, gets it, double bowl to take a two triple legs, 18. none lead. I should be out there telling that he hit it. Oh, and he gets a single. Good luck. Five remaining. Yeah, that was a phenomenal shot. Chris Lim Chris, you require away. 40. For a second, staring down the double 20 to notch it at one. Oh, and it's a good dart. And he shot. likes double 20. It's First a really dart. good dart for him. Well, i got to back him up real And quick. he sticks it. Now, we're taking a look at uh, Mawson's average uh, throughout the, uh, the the tour this year. An 83 average. That is one of the highest averages of the entire uh, tour. First dart. Right up there with Larry Butler, with Soldier, uh, Leonard Gates. And then Mawson and uh, Gary Broomhead as well. Uh, Chris Lim, on the other hand, shooting an 80 average. We should see some really high-scoring darts here and some, uh, some high outs as well uh, between these two. And that's about all they can possibly know of each other as well. You know. That really, they can only look at the tail of the tape and, and just try and play their game and, and recognize those moments where they have to hit that shot and actually hit that shot. That, I mean, that's what it's going to come down to. Where they have to look at when those 59. opportunities just. Uh, um, get uh, get that get that shot in when they absolutely have to hit it. Well, both of them have had a uh, fair amount of uh, ton eighties between them throughout throughout the uh, the tour. Um, That's a fact. Yeah, and uh, Mawson made uh, seven of the eight. Well, uh, Chris made it to all eight, so both of them very dedicated to the CDs. One hundred uh, thrilled to be here, obviously, as. Uh, Mawson, who uh, has phenomenal darts. His hair, not as good as yours, James. But, yeah, well, uh, you know. You know. <laughs> not everybody can 60. have this. No, like, this is, really this is genetics. It has nothing to do with me. Chris Lim, <laughs> who's got some fantastic hair <laughs> as well. He does. The professional and his dad state. does, too. So, you know, <laughs> Paul, so true. Paul still has good hair. So, so true. Um, <laughs> and mine is, is systematically getting destroyed by this headset. So, yeah. What yeah, right. The co-cell gene. All right. Mawson at the line with a beautiful 140. ton 40. They're tied at one apiece, both uh, with nearly identical averages. Lim with 83, Mawson 84. That's a bit of a miss for forty five. First his first start is usually his best dart. It's usually right on target. I am surprised there. Well, maybe he's able to take a cautious approach there, um, or a relaxed approach rather, because he knew that he'd have another shot at 40. it. Of course, Mawson, right there, gives him a little break. So he's yeah. got to come in. He's got to set up. He's got to set up a shot. Take his chance. And he's not gonna like that. He likes it low. Yeah, was, yeah, he's going to go to the 18. He does not like the dart on Gary top. Yep. 76. He's never liked that dart. Mawson traditionally would be trip 20, double eight. 
Not going to get it there. He was going for the 39 32. And 36. Well, I mean, it's a good shot. He, yeah. he, he's got he's got another three darts. He knows it. So. That's exactly it. And it's going to be double top from also my steps to the line. Based on what Chris does here. And he gets 60. a 60, leaving himself in buck 20. 40. Mawson, double top to take a 2-1 lead. And Game shot, first, first start, start, third leg. First, two legs to one, one and Gary. done. Chris, so we are yeah, that double percentage one. is pretty good. Yes, yes. And actually, uh, the as I said, the last match was a battle of wills. Not the best doubles we've seen all day, but so far the doubles here have been uh, really good. And as the old saying goes, triples for show, doubles for dough. That so. is a fact. Um even for someone who shoots in the mid forties like me, I can. <laughs> I just need to practice. I'll in be on the CDC in twenty eighteen. In fairness, I shot I shot mid seventies all season, and the only reason my average was mid seventies is when I could finish. That, yep. that really comes down to how you finish. That's exactly it. I am highly adept at destroying a great average. Oh, beautiful. see now that's a good dart that's for him. He's just going to go and try and lay it right on top of it. Oh, a little too high. A little Drops too high. That's down. okay. Yeah, that's, see, that's that. Now, see, now he's starting to get into his flow. Yep. Ton 37 there. Absolutely beautiful. There we go. 59, 59 from Mawson. Not exactly what he wanted, but Mawson's not the type to uh, really f let you know exactly what's going on facially yep. unless that, it's uh, really escaping him. Yep. Still another good dart frame. Now you should lay this one right on top of it. Oh, Locked 60. In, got a little away from him in the top left, but still right on top. I have a feeling we're going to see a couple ton 80s out of this match. You just you, you start to get that feeling from the way these darts are yeah, flying. They're, they're starting to get into their 140. Yep, ton 40 there from Mawson. Huge round. Lim at the line. Goes by the nickname and, Lightning. And he's got to have two. Ooh, oh, wow. just out. Oh, one hundred and twenty. As I call that the poor man's ton eighty. It's a buck twenty three, just just outside. Yeah, just, just outside, but he still gets the leave, and he really needed that. Yes, absolutely. That was a smart dart. Eighteen too. for the third. And he leaves himself a shot as well. Yeah. Chris and it comes back to again what you said before. It's a battle of wills. I mean, who's going to take the one sixty four game out? Just on top of the trip twenty, drops down single nineteen. Not pleased. No, he looks a little out of sorts on that one. 57. Right, 57. Leaves him 96. Carrier acquired 116 if he so chooses. Moss in with a chance to take a 3 1 lead. First oh, start. Perfect. First start. Trip 18. Oh, Ooh. falls into trip 12. Lim will have another shot at him. Oh, good. Goodness. Third to lead. The pressure on. 132. Pressure That's required 96. Those are spectacular darts. Chris that was Lim. really good. Can I have it? Oh, Ooh, got 81. 81 left. Triple 19. Standard two dart out. 19 and 24. Ah. Oh. Oh. So Mawson gets three clear darts at 32 to go up 3 1. Right. 49. Sometimes the most difficult three darts you can get, 30. though. I mean, three three clear darts to take a commanding lead. It, it, it's, it's not easy. Oh. Yeah, a little extra follow through on that one. I, and you, as you said it, it happened. It there happened. It was. Commentator's sure. curse, right? Yep, that's exactly what we do. It's like you don't talk about a no-hitter for the love of God. Double 16 for Lim. Needs oh, that's a good marker for him, though. Yep. Great marker. Oh, oh he just missed it. Gary require eight. Mawson, three clear darts at the double four now. Ah, that's Game a dart, shot. exactly. That's First dart. Dart. Leg, so we've got a 3-1 Mawson lead. Mawson Gary, throwing his 23-gram signature Gary Mawson darts with Fit Flight Flights and Carbon Shafts. Chris Lim with his 16.5-gram wow. Monster Lightning Strikes. Champagne Lightning Lim Flights and Carbon Shafts. 84. Now, uh, Mawson, of course, has uh, he's seen some, uh, some solid success this season. Chris Lim, on the other hand, the 501 national champion this year. Uh, he really has come 58. on strong. And his run through that national championship was really good. I got to watch all those matches on Dark oh, really? Connect. Oh, it was brilliant. He played really, really well the whole way through. It was very, very 45. solid. Um, mid eighties, pretty much all the way. It was, it was really. A, he just, he just ran it down the yeah. whole way.
100. Well, we got a ton out of uh, Lim right there. Mawson steps up to the line. It seems to have... 85. Under dart. He, again, he, he, likes, he likes that dart right there. Lim's completely the other way. He likes his first dart low and get over it. He'll just probably switch down. Yep, and he'll lay it right on top of that dart. Yeah, just the, like 96. that. The under dart is... Uh, I, I, that is, I just, I can't understand it. I, for me, it's just the laws of gravity. Mawson with the trip 20 right there. I'm like, it just... Logic dictates, but that's just me. I mean, I mean, it, it, you know, darters have their 123. Some people like to have that first one on top on the wire, some like it on the bottom on the wire. It really depends on the like the angle that you have to the dart that's laying in. His dart's kind of flat, yeah. So, if his dart's kind of flat, he likes to have that little thing that he can drop it into. Whereas, uh, you know, a player that has one on the top of the wire, they want to actually just bounce it right off that dart and get Here it you in. So, I mean, it, it just depends on how your dart lies and how you adjust to that. Well, Mawson had another opportunity for a ton 64 out, but instead he... 140! You get with some of your, some of your, you know, like if you look at some of the European players and what they do, they don't care whether it's bottom or top. They, they know exactly how to play off of that dart and, and just go either way. Uh, Gary Wright's a, a good example of that. He, he just, or uh, Peter Wright's a good example of that. He just, he doesn't care where that dart is in the triple 20. Game He's shot. Just do First it. Start, and Mawson leg, didn't care legs, about not that not getting 12. that 164 Chris, your opportunity. Start. He just crushed that double 12, much like he did the double four. Takes a commanding four legs to one lead over Chris. And this is going to be the issue because you can't, you can't let Gary, last year, Gary, I let him off to a 4 0 lead. And I fought back, and it was a good match, 42. but in the end, you can't let him have that. Sixty. Sixty there from Austin. Lim at the line, 459. He desperately needs to pull oh. off this leg and hold serve. Well, he had a great second dart there and then kind of just 80. let it go. Yeah, that third one just it got away and, from And Gary's going to sense that he has an opportunity here to do something, and that's a pretty good first dart for him. Oh. I love Gary's throw. It's just very smooth. Yeah, it's it? a great smooth stroke. He's, it's almost like he doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> He's just going to go up there and chuck him in there. There's a gentleman from the uh, L.A. area, now in New York. New York, then L.A., now back. Uh, Dax Muna has that same sort of face. 59. He just throws it like he doesn't care, and it's just a smooth stroke. Mawson, the same exact way. Countenance does not change. Mellifluous throw. I'm going to throw out every 50-cent word I can to describe Gary Mawson's throw. Oh, see, that's a good shot there. He took advantage of him again. Yep, that was huge. Now, Lim is behind the eight ball. And, oh, see, that's a great first start for him. He's just going to lay it right there. He's going to do it again. Yep. Same thing. Yeah. He's just going to do it again. It's a great first dart for him. Wow. Absolutely spectacular darts at him right now, and he needs it, Moss. And can we get our first ton 80 of the game? Yes, yeah. we can. 180. Leaves himself an 80. Lim can't afford a ton 80. But a ton 40 would be great. Even a 100 would be yeah, good. Would Hope be for a little missing. There, there he goes. His third dart. Gary, right, you require Mawson. 80. 20, 20, double 20, or do you do the t double 20, double 20? He's going 20, 20, plays it safe. The traditional method, can't argue with that. Nope. And. Oh, oh. and he was 40. I would love to see Chris come up here and take the first dart yes, to double 20 just 80. for fun, right? I, he's, he's, a, he's a young gun, why not? I can say that. Nope, oh, no, he goes double, double 10. 10. Oh, brilliant shot. Guard, <laughs> Unbelievable. Leg, Very legs, nicely done. Now that that is someone who played soft tip darts. You can tell they just went straight for that triple twenty. Uh, so now we are going to take a bit of a break. It uh, is four to two, Gary Mawson over Chris Lim. We've seen some phenomenal darts. We're going to see some more. Can Lim get back into it? We can't tell you, but we'll find out all together as we watch the CDC match number four, Lim and Mawson. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the 2016 CDC Finals so Day the 1, Scores the road to, to the Continental Gary Cup. Colin Gary Cosell Mawson, joined by Mawson. James Kinney. We are in the middle of the match between Chris Lim and Gary Mawson. Mawson up four legs to two. Mawson leading off, picking up right where he left off with that trip 20, which he's been hitting so well. Chris Lim 85. with an unorthodox finish to that last leg, leg number six, to win. He had... Uh, 
the, uh, the 80 left, went trip 20, double 10, knocked it out. And uh, he's, just, he's up where he left off, too. This is going to be absolutely fascinating to see how yeah. this, this shapes up. Ton 34 to open. Both players are going to just be on the stroke at this point, I think. Thinking off, they're thinking about what they're doing, and they're just going to stroke it in there. All right. Limb drops down to the trip 19, bounces just off of his dart into the triple three. I think what you're going to find out and see, it's going to be, it's going to really come down to their first dart. If their first dart's on the mark, they're just going to play off of it. And, oh, 135. Wow. Just they're just going to play off that first dart every time. They're looking to make that first dart marker and go. Well, I said we we're going to see multiple ton 80s in this match. We've seen one thus far out of Gary Moss. And now, can we see that other one so that? It looked like I know what I'm talking about. Here's oh, a well, chance, Chris another. Lim. Actually, he's on 20. I would think he would drop down to the 19 on that third dart. I was thinking he might as well. Instead, he pulls off and be, uh, you know, a perfectly respectable ton 40. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Mawson, first dart trip, 22nd dart. Ah, oh, you see. Yeah, they're both in the group now. This is, this is a lot of fun to watch. Mawson, 41 remaining. Lim with a shot at an out. Let's see how he goes the about it. The perfect game finish. Oh, nope. Not going to happen. No, he's going to move over, too. That's interesting. I would think he would drop down as well. Because he, he, he has no problem oh. seeing, he has no problem hitting the cover shot. I'm not sure why he doesn't Here do that on the second yard. 44 remaining for Lim Mawson. And Nine double 32. 16. And that's his favorite double. Oh, good marker. They bounce it right off of it. Oh, Ooh, 25. Wow, got side. away from him. So Lim. Pressure required 44. Here. Unorthodox finishes seem to be... His forte, so let's see what he does here. Is he going 12 double 16, 4 double top? I think 4 double top. I think he likes the double 20 a lot. Oh, that's true. You did say that before. I need Ooh, to listen. he's got double 38 left. 19 for Lim. Oh, boy. Resets himself. Which is always smart. Not enough players do that. I agree. Oh, uh, just nice. a bit Ten. outside. In the Words of the great Bob Euchre. Gary Marston, <laughs> three darts at the double eight. And he still likes that side of the board. He likes 32. He likes 16. Another good marker. It was almost like his first marker. Yep. And Game there it is. Second yep. dart. Mawson seventh leg. Now, five with legs. A truly to commanding. Gary five Mawson. legs Chris to two George lead stuff. on Lim. Lim to lead off. Mawson held the throw there. Lim desperately needs to hold the throw here. And then hope to break Moss in the next round. But oh, we'll get still to that. again a good first start, right where he needs it to be. Get that ton eighty Lim. And he got it. Second ton eighty of the match. I am officially clairvoyant, and Chris Lim is officially off to a perfect game. Three darts in Mawson. See, Moss is one, one of the. I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh no, I just Moss is one of those guys. He he doesn't care whether he where he lands it. It really depends on the lie of the dart, and he can play off of it. Yeah. Lim. Oh, oh wow, we were looking. For, oh, that just I, one hundred. You know, I'm I'm a firm believer in unbiased, non-biased broadcasting, but I'm not. I I want to just call one perfect game. That's right? all I want. So I was pulling for Chris there. Still one hundred phenomenal darts being thrown by him so far, and he really needs to hold this throw and hopefully break Moss in mm. in order to keep this match going because. Honestly, I would love to see this match keep going. <laughs> oh, he snuck one underneath. That's unusual for him. That's a beautiful throw. Leaves yeah. him a great out, and he'll have a couple of shots at it. Ah, that's a good marker for him. Oh, got away from him. No, he's going he's gonna to switch it up. He's got to switch it up. 17. He's dropping down. 17. Yep, yep, there it is. 131. Yeah, that was the right shot. He knew he was blocked. Chris, you require 100. James Kinney knows his opponents. Let's let it <laughs> be Oh, it's kind of my job. <laughs> 20 scores. Oh, good point. <laughs> Chris. And All he's right. going for double he's 10. He's already hit the double 10. Ooh, oh, 90. a little bit inside. And he gives Mawson Gary an opportunity. 130. This is a huge turn for Mawson. And Mawson is very capable of hitting this shot. Uh, it's a little bit off. Still Come has on. a shot. Not anymore. Drops Probably going to go 18. 90. No, he went bullseye. To 65. Or 40. He got a single. So Fresh 65, required 10. Double 10's Chris tricky, Lim. although he likes double top, so it should be pretty good. Missed it. Ah, see, now he's got two bad darts in there. He does not he's like going under that this. dart. 
Yeah, so you, you see how he lowered down a little bit there, and kind and of tried to sneak under it, and that's just, that's just not a good dart for him. That happens to 99.9% .9 of the dart shooters out there. I don't care mm -hmm. if you're professional or a C-leaguer in the New York dart league, like some people I know. Uh, you see, I love this shot on 65 with yeah. three darts. It's the right way to do Game it. Game shot. See how beautiful Third dart. Is that? Yes, it's the right way. Eight legs. You're right Six there legs. for the second Two. dart if you don't hit the Gary. triple and then double tops. Gary, and it's his dart. It just, that's just brilliant And that's darts. why traditional darts... Uh, you know, it, it, it speaks for itself. I mean, that's that's why matter of, matter of preference will work if that's the way you throw, and that's more than okay. That's understandable and acceptable. But right there, that was just... Oh, put it between them and didn't get the bounce. Nope, split the uprights. Just a little low. Just, yeah. Just, just a bit outside. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I know. He's going to try and lay it on top of that one. Oof. 45. Oh, got away from him. That's yeah, going to be really tough to recover from, too, because Mawson seems zeroed in. Yeah, right I tell you, I mean, Mawson, he went, when he went up three legs, I mean, he's just he's going to be very, very tough to beat that way. Uh, oh, 121. 21. And he, he tried to force that one in there. He probably should have thought about another dart there. Yeah. I'm going to catch a lot of grief about criticizing their darts. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna be like, "What were you saying?" Well, here's the thing: the difference being, um, one of these two will not be advancing, and you have. Well, yeah, but still. Yeah, I mean, that's up to you. Whatever happens thereafter. <laughs> oh, see, that's just two great darts. Phenomenal darts by Gary Moss and leaves him 100, and that is why they call him the Mauler. He is mauling this game right now, Chris Lim. Uh, the darts have gotten away from him, it seems. Chris has also started to pick up his pace a little Gary bit. He needs to get back to what he does and just take his time in between each shot. He's he's he started to try and groove his shot, and it's not working for him. Double top, double top for the match. See, I love oh. the double top, double top. 80. Yeah, I just I think it's a great shot. I took one shot at it today as well. I like the double top. Oh, double I remember top. we. Uh, and you just missed it too. Lim needed that trip twenty right there. It did not fall. And, and I don't understand why we're not shooting for one thirty three, starting out the Gary, trip nineteen to leave himself at least a chance. Yep, Mawson for the match. And it's going to be double on, five. Gary. Nope, he goes nope. for the two to he, twelve. He plays so. a very very smart shot there. Leaves yep. himself. You know, don't don't leave yourself bad. Just hit your shot. Set it up for the next one. He's got at yeah. least three clear, maybe six. Yep, he's got ample time here. Lim needs a ton 40 desperately. And, and he, he hits 140. It. <laughs> he went Gary under, and he's even eight. laughing about it. Here we go. Double four. Gary Mawson for the match. And, and there, it is. there match it is. The match. Ninth James, play. it has been an absolute pleasure. That, that was a pleasure. Yes, that we'll was have a to, pleasure we will definitely oh. do this again, I assure you. Oh, yes. Uh, that will do it. Gary Mawson, his CDC tour continues. He will continue to play. We will see him again tomorrow. Who he'll play against, we do not know. Chris Lim. His CDC Tour 2016 comes to a close right now, unfortunately. But still, a brilliant season for him. Mawson's continues. And we will continue with the post-game interview here, the CDC Continental okay. Cup <coughs> Tour Finals, Day 1. Uh, Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, back here at the venue at the Dirty Bull with the 10 seed Gary Mawson. Gary just got through Chris Lim, and Gary, you're into the final eight. Second year in a row. That's here right. Here we go. Let's bring it on. Gary was our, uh, our runner-up last year. I ended up uh, losing a heartbreaker to, to Larry Butler in the final, but that was last year. Let's talk about this last match. Um, what uh, what went through your head? You were, you were, I didn't get a chance to interview interview you before the match, like I was planning on. And so, um, you know, what were you thinking coming in? And then did it play out the way you thought? Yes, and yes. Fair enough. <laughs> no, great. No, I, no, no. Fantastic match for me. Not so much for Chris. Uh, I expected to win. Uh, I was hoping it'd be quicker, but it, uh, it it worked out very well for me in the end. Your scoring was uh, was was great. I mean, I you know that you wish you hit hit more one eighties, but uh, I lost track of one uh, forties at about uh, ten or so. Uh, your ton pluses were great. You were getting down. Uh, the outs were there. I mean, it really for a, for a first round match, you'd hard pressed to find uh, find better quality. Um, talk to me a little bit about uh, about your opponent. Um, you know, Chris. Obviously, you're coming into the match. He's had a, a great year. Uh, 
possibly the year of his life in darts, both both soft and steel. Um, and, and and you've got to basically close the door on him. Um, you know, playing against him, seeing him come up. Give me thoughts when you saw him at the line and, and what kind of went through your head, and knowing what you had to do to close the door. Well, you know, everybody knows Chris is Paul's son, and and you know I've known Paul for years, and Paul's phenomenal. And Chris has really uh, stepped it up this year and, and playing some great darts. And I just, I, I wanted to keep him in check uh, and just try and uh, stay on my game. And uh, hopefully I could con control the match and, and it worked out it, like that way. The, pay, uh, the pace, seemed, you seemed like you were dictating pace and, and you were pretty much dictating the, dictating the game. So well, I felt, you way. know, he was, he was going to be aggressive and he was and, mm -hmm. that, and, that, and that suits me. All right, so uh, I, I, it worked out worked out well. Okay, excellent. Um, before we, we step away here, uh, give me, you know, this is obviously, you, you're hoping you're making a new memory tomorrow. Obviously, we know that. But uh, up to this point, what is uh, the, your biggest memory, your best memory of the CDC from 2016? My biggest memory? Best memory, not biggest. Best, best. memory? And don't uh, say kissing me, please. Uh, no. Um, it was you, mine. It was, but... uh, yeah, yours, of course. God, I don't have a really great memory of this year. I haven't won one yet, okay. and uh, it seems like everybody else has, and some people a few more than, than others. And I really want to get this first win, so hopefully tomorrow will be my success. Well, you, you've taken your first step. So, Gary Mossick, congratulations on getting through to the Thank final you, eight. We'll see you tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, that is, that is it from here. Uh, we have another great match coming up top of the hour. We've got the 16 seed Jim Newman against the number one seed Larry the Eagle Butler. Looking forward to bringing that to you here shortly, and we'll be back with you at the Dirty Bowl. Thanks.